So this is the last in the videos I'm going to do on overhead mobility for this series. In previous videos, I talked about the need to open up the thoracic spine for um, overhead mobility. So the first thing is to open up this upper back. The next stage was then to open up um, the pecs, open up those chest muscles to loosen those up to help increase that range of motion and change the position of the scapula. The final area we're going to work on is more directly rela related, and that is the latissimus dorsi muscle. And that muscle, the reason we need to make some changes to that is that the lats are actually an internal rotator of the shoulder, so they basically bring the shoulder this way. So when they're, when they're tight, they pull you into this internal rotation and they restrict how much you can get overhead. So it's that muscle here, the sort of wings that you're going to see. When you see like someone like Schwarzenegger, you see those set of wings there. Uh, they do get tight on a lot of people, especially a lot of people that do um, gym work. They're going to be tight on people. So if you're doing a lot of like that pull downs and pull ups, um, alongside having that tightness in your pecs there, that can be a reason for that restriction of you being uh, tight overhead. So quite straightforward. Some of you, if you're already a, a member here at Cross the Children, you'll do this on a regular basis anyway. But I want to give you some stuff you can do at home. So I've got the foam roller here. Straightforward, what you're going to do first of all is we're going to roll out the lats. Now you can do that in an upright position. If you don't want to put any much weight on, you can actually put it up here and work through this position. But generally for most people, that's not going to be enough pressure. Um, if you want something a bit stronger, you can get a lacrosse ball and use that against the wall or against the rig. But most of the time you're in a lying position here. So you're going to go side lying, elongate this lower arm here, get that placed just at the base of your rib cage there, and you're going to work it up and down. Now I'm slightly tilted towards the sky because the lats are a posterior muscle, so they're, they're on my back there. So if you're here, you're just going to be rolling onto your ribs. It's not going to give you much benefit. So make sure you're side lying, your chest slightly inclined upwards, and you're going to work up and across. And you'll find that some areas there's going to be some tightness there, and you're going to really work those areas tightly. You can roll slightly towards your back, roll slightly forward here, just rotate your body, just find some areas where there's some sticking points in there, really reaching that arm up and behind you to elongate that muscle while you're doing that. If you want to add some movement without moving the roller, you can move your arm through some positions, through some planes of motion as well. Just work some areas and find some sticking points. You'll find that there'll be some referral pain. You see me wincing on that one. Um, sometimes across the front of your shoulder when you do this. So you might find some little referring pain. And just work through there. There's a few trigger points in there, and that's where that referring pain is going to ha happen. And loosen through there. Now, if you're just doing a pre-workout mobilization, you're only going to spend probably 20, 30 seconds on each side. If you're doing some stuff where you actually want to uh, lengthen the muscles, so post-workout or just a general mobilizing session, you're going to spend much longer. You're going to spend probably a couple of minutes on each side, maybe longer, depending on how much damage is done in there. Now, to mobilize and lengthen that muscle after you've rolled it out, you're going to do a lat stretch. You've got a couple of ones you can choose from. The first one you can do is either against the door frame. So I like to give people stuff that they can do at home. So if you haven't got a, a rig at home, you can use a door frame. And you can put your hand this way. And you're going to rotate it so your thumb points down here. And you're going to grip the hand like that. That's going to help to lengthen those lats from behind here. Then you're going to grip on from there. And you're going to draw back and drop your, drop your body down into a hip hinge, allowing your chest to elevate here, allowing your arms to get pulled into overhead position. I'm actually going to try and rotate away. Okay, so I'm driving this right hip away from the, the door frame or away from the rig to try and lengthen this side of the body. So I'll show you from the other side here, holding on here. I'm going to drive forward here and lengthen all this side of my body as I'm pulling away. So I really feel this stretch all the way down here and the lats insert all the way down here. So you might put a stretch right down into this lower reaches on the lateral side of your back there. Really drive through there. Again, if you're just trying to mobilize before doing a workout, you only really want to spend 20 seconds in each position just hanging out through there because you're only trying to loosen up just prior. You're not trying to make too much of a difference to the length of the muscle. Because again, if you, if you spend too long stretching out prior to working out, you're going to make yourself unstable. We don't want to do that. So we just want to prep our muscles for movement. If you're doing it afterwards, you can hang out there for one, two minutes, and that's quite a good way 
to work through, you know, just working through some different positions of tightness, I would say. The other one you can do is up against the rig here. You might feel this a little bit in the tries as well, but you're going to get your elbow in here. You're going to drive up. Let your arm go over the top, so you're trying to reach your hand down the back here and drive into the rig at the sideways position there, lengthening up through this way. Slightly different stretch. You're going to feel it more in the upper part here where it starts at the arm. You're going to feel a little bit in the tries as well. Quite good to hit both of those stretches to an overhead and try and bring that arm down your back whilst you're doing that. So we're trying to increase that range of motion through there. Again, pre-workout, 20 seconds, post-workout or mobilizing session, a couple of minutes. Implement that alongside your pec and thoracic spine work, and over time, you're going to increase your overhead mobility. When you're doing that pre-workout mobilization, that's going to make a big difference in, in terms of how you would be if you didn't do that before you started doing your lifting to afterwards, especially if you're doing any kind of overhead pressing that day or anything overhead on the rig. Really, really important to make sure you're at optimum position before you start. But if you implement that, change those changes, start those today, in six months time, you're gonna be in a much better position when you're working on overhead squats, overhead pressing, handstand press ups, all of that stuff. It's gonna improve your shoulder mobility and improve your shoulder health and also reduce your risk of hyperextending through your back or overextending through your lower back um, when you're doing anything overhead, which is gonna cause more problems for you. So a lot of people get trouble with that lower back um, when they do overhead pressing because they end up this way. So it's going to help to prevent those kinds of injuries happening as well. So it's a most used benefit. Plus, just getting your shoulders into a better position is going to make you look better. Um, I coined a phrase of postural obesity, where your posture makes you look in worse shape than you actually are. And that's very prevalent amongst the modern-day population. Um, I see it terrible, and there's something I want to talk about in a future video, but it's uh, getting much worse amongst young people. I'm seeing it younger and younger ages, worse and worse postures. Um, really is. I think people, uh, it's going to be a massive um, problem in the years to come in how bad people's postures become because of the health, um, not health, health risks, I suppose, or injury risks, and just uh, the poor mobility and the, the, the pain that people are going to suffer later in life from this posture. They're going to have neck pain, they're going to have shoulder pain, they're going to have back injuries, they're going to have just a multitude of problems, elbow problems as well, because they're going to work in hyperextension if they're doing training. Just going to lead to a multitude of just general crap going on with your bodies. And, um, you know, everyone, everything we do at the moment in life is anterior, and even, you know, with the phones now, it makes you even more anterior than when you're on your keyboard, at least when you're on your keyboard, you're here. People are on their phones like this, they're like this, and they're looking down at the screen, so it makes it even worse. So we went for a stage where, you know, we became couch potatoes, where we're here, sitting on a sofa, and now we've gone from looking that way to looking even further down, so now we're completely screwed. So this is a cure towards fixing all of that crap that you put yourself through every day when you're working on media devices and sitting in your cars, and just general modern life. Um, the first world problems, I suppose you could call them. Hope this helps, guys, and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching that video, guys. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and check me out on Facebook.